Beth. Hello. Kinley's getting, getting excited. He's got one week of school, basically, of classes. Wow. That's yeah. It's going fast, too. I think we have five. For Is he what? I think we have five for everybody else. Yeah. It's flying by. So I'm going to ask the guys assigning to the chat, how else would you like to get a list of names? Should I um, create a Google form and put up uh, QR codes around the school or something? Or Yeah, uh, that would be great if you don't mind doing that. That would be okay. awesome. Cool. Yeah, you have the Zoom code? Yeah, so go where we're going to just sign on in right now. All right. Maybe I can create one real quickly and I can put it right in the chat. Mike, are there any questions you want me to ask besides like name and email grade? Yeah, I think if you just have one question, you know, why are you interested? That'll just give me some perspective on what might be motivating people to check it out, even if it's just, you know, curiosity or looking to fill this sometime this summer. Yeah. yeah, it must have been tough last year with the internships and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of plans people had that got disrupted. Even our grad students, so many of them are basically losing a year in terms of the research so universities trying to figure out how to fund them for an extra year it is a shame i mean everybody but still nobody was prepared to do a virtual internship yeah, yeah. and it's not necessarily the same as being in person but at least this was originally designed to be remote yeah yeah, this is one area where the humanists who just look at books, they can see a lot of this stuff online. So they're in better shape. Christopher Smith, you're unmuted. He's Guys that are here, sign into the chat. We're going to wait. It's, um, her room doesn't officially start till 1020, so we'll wait. Okay. Yeah. You just let me know when you're ready. Keep working on that form. So if I can get that into the chat, that'll be easiest for the guys that are here. And then otherwise, I'll make the QR code out of that website, that link, and hang it on the walls. <laughs> Seems like you guys have done pretty good keeping the COVID stuff down. I mean, we get occasional ones here and there, but nothing, 
nothing major. Yeah, I feel like uh, the sports, you know, they're so close together and that's probably our downfall. At least the teachers all got vaccinated. That was pretty impressive that really early. Spinoza got everybody uh, the vaccine, the teachers and staff. Yeah, she did that very quickly. Did I just drop out? I think I just dropped out for a second. The announcements are on? I, I don't know. Guys, will you guys be able to hear if we did start with the announcements on or should we wait? Anyone? Can you hear? Sean, are you there? Can you hear? Uh, I can hear the announcements over the kids' iPads. I can, how long an announcements? I can wait a minute or two. Yeah, it should only be a minute or two. Mr. McDivitt sometimes likes to tell stories, but we'll try a minute. Although if I get to trump Mr. Andrews, man, I'll really have come full circle for my days in his, uh, American Gov class 30 years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's only 10 19, so we'll wait another minute. All right. Okay. Great. All right. You can just take it away. All right. Thanks, Beth. Hey, guys. My name is Mike Reese. I am a professor at Johns Hopkins. And uh, Ms. Sirica had invited me in to talk about a potential opportunity that I'm inviting you all to participate in this summer. Uh, it's what we call research practicum. So if you're not familiar with that term, a practicum is essentially just an applied learning experience. And the goal for this is twofold. One is to give you a chance to learn a little bit more about how scientists do research, uh, which could be helpful for you as you're thinking about potential majors in college and even opportunities where many schools have research opportunities when you go to college. So you might want to explore those. You can do them for pay or for credit. Um, but the second thing is, is I'm going to be running this the way I run my college classes. So it will give you a chance to see what a college class is like, which isn't radically different than what you experienced at St. Joe. But at Johns Hopkins, where I'm located, we tend to rely on something called the seminar method, which is much more discussion based. So it's not going to be a lot of lectures. Uh, we're going to be sitting around talking about different ideas. Uh, and it'll give you a chance to see what a, what a college class is like. Before I dive in and talk about what we're going to be doing, let me introduce myself just quickly. Uh, I'm actually an electrical engineer by training. That was my undergraduate degree and ultimately migrated to sociology. And the only reason I share that is when I talk to either high school students or college students, I like to let them know that what you major in as an undergraduate, it's important to think about it and make an informed decision, but it is not going to determine where your life goes. Um, so for me, I got into engineering. I was really interested in technology, ultimately became really interested in how technology can inform how people learn. 
And then as I started developing educational applications in the private sector and, and at universities, I became interested in how do they then spread through social network? How do students or, or teachers adopt these different technologies? And so my research as a sociologist focuses on how do innovations, specifically teaching innovations, spread through networks of people? So when I say I'm a sociologist, hopefully many of you are familiar with that term that it's basically the study of groups of people. I'm specifically interested in uh, social networks and how information and ideas spread through them. And so that's gonna inform the work that we're gonna do this summer. So the idea for this research practicum, uh, as I said before, is to teach you uh, about what research, what's involved in research. Specifically, we're gonna be doing social science research. Um, and give you also opportunity to see what a college classroom is like. But if you're interested in going into engineering or biology, chemistry, or some other field, we're gonna be talking generally about research and the ideas that we're gonna read about and discuss will give you the chance to learn more about how scientists in other fields do research. So even though we're gonna be focusing on the social scientists sciences based on the work that we do, there'll be plenty of opportunities to learn about what other scientists do. And, and, and the processes that we use as social scientists are very similar to what they do. So the format is we'll have about five to six meetings over the summer. The first set of those will be an opportunity for us to discuss things like the research process, what is theory, how do we use it? Um, we're gonna read some really accessible uh, primary sources. So some colleagues of mine who turn out to be great writers. And even though they're writing for other scientists, they're, the, the, thing, the articles that they publish are really interesting to all of us, uh, even though, or I shouldn't say all of us, but all of you as well. They're very accessible and, and really fascinating. Um, so we're gonna read some of that. We're gonna talk about ethics in research and then how we go about designing and executing a research project. And then we're gonna end with me actually working with all of you to get access to and analyze some data that will inform things that we're gonna do at Johns Hopkins. Most likely it's gonna be looking at grading policies, um, although I'm still playing around with some other ideas. So five to six meetings over the summer. The first part, we're gonna be learning about the research process and different elements of research design. And then we're gonna work on an actual project. There will be no grades. So this is whatever you wanna put into it is what you're gonna get out of it. I see my role is just hopefully igniting some of your curiosity about research and maybe potential field to study in college. Um, we will also get your manpower out of this. I mean, you'll be able to contribute to some of the things that we're talking about at Hopkins in the research that we're doing. Um, and, you know, I will be giving you feedback. So there won't be any grades, but you'll get feedback on your work. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, one of the other things I guess I should say in general is that in working with me, you know, somebody who teaches at a university, I'm also happy to talk to you about college life. So this is a good opportunity just to connect with me and maybe answer general questions for those of you who are starting to think about where you might want to go to college. Uh, I'm happy to, you know, connect with you offline about that as well. Um, I don't wanna just ramble on for too long. I mean, that's basically sort of an overview of what the opportunity is. Um, I, the only other thing I will add is that participating in this, this will be something that you can put on your college application or your resume that you've participated in a research practicum. Uh, and you know, if you get a chance to interview somewhere that you'll have the opportunity to you know, describe what you learn. Um, and with that, why don't I open it up for questions? I think uh, Ms. Sirica posted, so this was just an information session for hopefully me to sell you on the idea. If you wanna click on the link in the chat, you can register your interest. Um, you don't necessarily have to fully commit at this point. What I'm gonna do is collect information uh, from those who are interested and in a couple of weeks, start to plan out how the summer's gonna work. And then at that point, you can officially commit so really all you're doing at this point is just submitting your name to get more information from me about scheduling and, and getting ready for the summer. But does anybody have any questions about, I know summer is a time to have fun and maybe you're working elsewhere. If you have questions about the workload 
or just the process in general? Like, will they have a, um, will they have something physical to show and their, their research will be organized in a way that they can present it to someone and that interview? Sure, sure. So what we'll do is, um, I'll be giving you some data that you'll be expected to analyze and then write a short paper basically presenting your findings and your analysis. I mean, I, I don't want to get ahead of us, but you know, the way we go about writing a research paper is there are some very clear sections that go into this. One of them is what is the what was the design and the data that we were collecting? Um, what did we find in that data? And then some broader interpretations of, you know, not just let me describe what it is, but here's the implications of the findings themselves and why they're interesting. And so that re report would be something that you could share with others. So it could become a portfolio piece for you. There's another question, um, it was private in the chat. Uh, what month, day, time would the meetings occur? Like June, Mondays, noon? Yeah, yeah. I think what I would do is once we have everybody, we'll do our best to uh, schedule time that maximizes for everybody. And if we have a lot of people and it works out best, I potentially could even have two sessions, one that maybe is in the morning or the evenings, whatever works for the most people. Um, and of course, if you have to miss one or two, uh, that, that's fine. I, if you miss all of them, really, you know, all but one, that's probably not worth sticking around for. But, you know, this is really a learning opportunity for you. This is not a class. There's no obligation to me. So um, as I said, you'll get out of it what you put into it. And the work that you do on the final paper, if you choose to analyze the data and, and write a report about it, will be helpful if you attend the, the other sessions. But if something comes up and you can't make it, um, we can go ahead and, and catch you up uh, you know, in some other way. There's some questions about, you know, Beth, we'll have to talk about recording. Um, some we have some issues at Hopkins around recording students for privacy issues, but I don't think that's going to apply to to this group. Okay. Yeah, so we definitely record here. Yeah. So in terms of the research, uh, the the approach that I'm going to take is actually to give you the data as opposed to mentoring you in your own research process. Uh, to design and implement your own research project actually takes quite a bit of time. And I don't think in a short summer that we, we would be able to have you go out and independently set up your own data collection and be able to report on it. And it's also gonna be easier for me that if, and actually from a learning perspective, if we're all analyzing similar data, people can still go about different ways of how they look at the data. And so, with the group all talking about the same data set, maybe from different perspectives, um, I think it'd be better for the group. So don't don't worry about the, you know, trying to come up with your own project. I'll be providing that. And then Grayson, all of the sessions are gonna be virtual. I don't think we're able to come together and meet in person. Uh, and with me still working on campus, we have uh, restrictions about who can come on campus this summer. So everything's gonna be done via Zoom. Hopefully that'll make it more convenient for all of you. You won't have to commute anywhere. And if you're going to be down the beach or heading somewhere for the summer, you'll still be able to engage. Hey Mike, what if some students are really struggling? Is there a chance that they could contact you during the analysis part, get a little help maybe? Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. So when we get into this, this isn't just me coming to a couple of sessions and then sending you on your way. As you're working through the data, think of me more as a teacher, just somebody who's not gonna be grading you. So I will be fully available as you start to analyze the data to try to, if you're struggling with either the technology, um, which we'll probably be using very basic technology like spreadsheets, Excel, Word docs, uh, just to minimize the, the complexity. Um, but I'll be fully available to talk you through the process. And also if you have unique ideas that you wanna explore, you know, talk about how we could do that within the, the confines of the project itself. I should probably not be calling you like, I guess I should call you Professor. Oh, yeah. 
That's okay. Okay. Anything else? I don't see any other questions in the chat. Okay. Well, you know, feel free. What I'll do is I'll uh, post my email address if you do have questions that you want to send me. Um, you can email me directly, and then. Ms. Rick, if you don't mind, just, I, I guess, give the forum a week or two for people to sign up those that couldn't attend. And then based on those who sign up, I can reach out to them probably the middle of May and start to plan for something this summer. Okay. All right, you guys, you all see the link I posted at the very, at the, in the chat. That's the link that has the Google forum that you'll sign up on. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Sure. Awesome. Look forward to working with some of you this summer. Yep. All right. I'm, I'm going to leave the, the um, Zoom open and so we're going to get the link. So everybody okay. can talk to that. Okay. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. All right. I'll talk soon. All right. Bye.